Good morning. Let's see you all. We're not on day five, we're on day three. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna wait just a moment and I'm gonna hop right in. Good morning, y'all. Sorry, I'm just trying to see where I can see my comments. All right, there we go. All right, good morning, everybody. I am here to do our devotional. We are on day three of our um, 30, 30, 30 challenge. And we're coming out of our book, uh, Taste for Truth, a 30-day weight loss Bible study. I hope this book has been a blessing to you because it has surely been blessing me, honey. And day three is titled, I'll Start Tomorrow. <laughs> so I see where this is going. <laughs> How many of us say that every day? I'll start tomorrow. I'll start tomorrow. Good morning. I see you all. <clears throat> I'm at the Dairy Queen drive through Waiting for my blizzard, my final goodbye to indulgence before I start getting serious about my boundaries. I was planning to start today, but there was a glitch. A friend asked me to go to the bakery, and I had a frappe. No problem, I thought. I'll just make it my snack for the day. But then my daughter made white chocolate chip cranberry scones for dinner. I couldn't resist a second helping. My boundaries specifically say no second helpings. I'll just start tomorrow, I told myself as I grabbed the car keys for a trip to the Dairy Queen. <laughs> Might as well have one last blizzard. My guess is that you've had the same experience. <laughs> Why do you suppose we keep putting it off until tomorrow? Here's my theory. We do it because A, we don't really want to follow our boundaries. <laughs> And B, it's a wonderful opportunity to eat without guilt. Because after all, we'll be so good tomorrow. <laughs> Here are a few of the lies we tell ourselves when we're sitting at the drive-thru waiting for our last treat. Number one, it will be easier tomorrow. <laughs> Number two, we'll feel more like sticking to our boundaries tomorrow. Number three, we will stick to our boundaries tomorrow. <laughs> the truth is, one, it won't be easier tomorrow. Two, we'll never feel like sticking to our boundaries if there are treats around, and there are always treats around. And three, we probably won't stick to our boundaries tomorrow if we're not willing to stick to them today. Here's what we'll need to do if we want to break free from the control of food. Develop a mindset of always following the boundaries. In other words, ban the phrase, I'll start tomorrow, from our vocabulary. Amen. And then it goes into the Bible study uh, questions that you do on your own time. And the assignment says, spend some time talking to God about the possibility of limiting your eating, not just temporarily, but long term. If you don't already have boundaries, read Appendix A at the back of this book. Amen. Wasn't that good? I mean, it's such a common thing. I'll start tomorrow. We do that with many things. It could be exercise, definitely uh, changing our eating, <laughs> the carb counting. Somebody already said, I'm going to join them tomorrow. I'm going to start tomorrow. <laughs> and now we're, we're in tomorrow. And now it's like, no, nah, I'm going to just, I'm going to start on Monday. I'm going to start on, you know, that's how it goes. So we have to just be intentional, intentional, intentional. Like on our reminders list for this month, be intentional and plan. 
So I hope that blessed you all. I hope you have an amazing Sunday. I will not be doing my workout live. I don't believe I will. I wasn't planning on going live every time anyway, but I will be doing my 30 minutes when I come back in from church. And then I have to cook live, so I'll be on my cooking live, so I'll see some of you all on my other page. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing Sunday. I hope that blessed you. I always go back after the lives, you all, and put the information at the top of the video. So I always put the book, the name of the book, um, and the title of the actual uh, day of what, it, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> the title. So y'all be blessed, and I'll see some of y'all after church. All right, love you.